Hey y'all, welcome to Bee's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a message for the sign of Aquarius. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself and the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is any black magical spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. Alright, so this is the element sign for the next, well, it would be for the next seven days, but um, we're going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to do all the element signs uh, dealing with the Mercury retrograde in Taurus, which begins April the 21st and it goes through May the 17th. And so, you know, with Mer Mercury retrograde, of course, it deals with the past. And so, when it comes to you, Aquarius, we're just going to see, you know, what this uh, Mercury Retro Braid is bringing back around. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. Distractions. So, I do feel like this definitely is 11 cards. So, yes. Um, spiritual Awakening. So I feel like that there are some distractions that are possibly clearing out um, in your uh, life, in your energy when it comes to you, Aquarius. I, I do feel like, you know, that, um, you know, your head could have been in the clouds some way, shape, form, or fashion, and then it could have created some type of distractions. But I do see, you know, that the distractions are clearing out. And, you know, this is air, this is clouds, so this definitely is your energy, Aquarius. Spirit, when it comes to these clouds, these distractions that are clearing out, um... What do the Aquariuses need to know as far as for this Mercury retrograde? The Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, so that's definitely your energy. And so, with that being said, let's go ahead and, and get this message. Alrighty. So, yeah. <clears throat> The skies are clearing up. The distractions are clearing up. You know, your energy is clearing up. So for some of you, you know, um, you could be um, possibly uh, regenerating your energy, you know, from something that happened in the past. You could have exhorted your energy a lot. And so you could possibly be, you know, getting your energy back during this Mercury retrograde. For some of you, you could be traveling. And so with that being said, with this clouds and distractions, I do feel like that there could be some type of distraction while you are traveling on an airplane. Mm -hmm. But as far as, uh, you know, you and these, uh, the clearing of the distractions, um, for some of you, you're releasing, you know, things that don't serve your highest good. For some of you, you could have been, you know, um, in a, uh, attached to a toxic situation ship. That was a distraction. I do see that, you know, you definitely are possibly clearing that out of your, you know, life, uh, uh, out of your energy. There could be, you know, some type of addiction um, that you could be possibly clearing out as well. Um, I do see that you are guarded for sure. And so with that being said, with this clouds card here, because it is clearing out um, and you realize that, you know, whatever this is, were distractions people, places, and things, I do feel like that, you know, you are going to basically, throughout this Mercury retrograde, um, be guarded. Because, again, there are challenges, obstacles and challenges. There were distractions, you know, that were causing, you know, your mind to be cloudy. But I do see that y your mind is clearing, you know, of those distractions. And, you know, you could be guarded because you definitely could have been dealing with a lot of arguments, a lot of deception, you know, here in the last... I'm not even going to put a time frame on it. Five days, five weeks, five months with this five of swords, five years, or maybe even nine. Um, but I do feel like that, yeah, the distractions, they're clearing out of your energy. 
The devil. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to this devil, this karmic contract, I do feel like that, you know, you, your mind was cloudy about a situation that you had from the past. Because again, this is Mercury retrograde. Um, and I feel like that with that being said, the distraction was that you knew, you know, that whoever this is that basically did have, you know, a karmic contract that they were in, whoever this is, you know, you, they could possibly, you know, still be dealing with some addictions. I do feel like that if you had addictions, they're clearing out. Um, but I do feel like that whoever this is, you know, that is in this karmic contract, they are obsessed with you. But they're also obsessed with materialism. You know, they're obsessed with money. You know, and so they could have gotten into this uh, karmic contract just for materialistic things. Just to, just for, you know, the power. Just to say that they have the power. Whoever this is, it feels to me like they're a control freak. And so with that being said, this is someone that definitely did cause some type of heartbreak. They definitely did possibly betray you in some type of way shape form or fashion and whoever this is they definitely even though there are they are in a karmic karmic contract they are experiencing loneliness and possibly bad health because whoever this is they definitely are unhappy but they're just stuck in a toxic situation ship and I feel like whoever this is because you know they created a lot of heartbreak and they betrayed you over and over again, I do feel like that you could have experienced some bad health as well. Possibly, you know, bad mental health. And so that could be why, you know, you're guarded at this time. Because you've already cleared your mind of all the distractions. You've already cleared your energy of all the distractions. And you're guarded because you feel like whoever this is is going to come back into your life to cause obstacles and challenges. You have been persistent. You know, you've been through a lot with whoever this past person is. You've been through a lot. And I do feel like that you are tired. You're tired, but at the same time, you know, you're persistent and you're resilient, which means that you persisted, you know, in your progression and you basically, your bounce back game was strong. And I do feel like that you stuck in there with this person for a very long time. And so with that being said, you know, there were, you know, in the past, there were a lot of arguments, you know, there could have, there could be a lot of arguments going or could have been a lot of arguments going on, you know, with this person before you decided to clear your mind and your energy of all the distractions. But during this Mercury retrograde, that's what's going to continue to happen. You're going to continue to stand your ground and continue to clear your energy of anything that is trying to distract you from moving forward. But whoever this is, I do feel like that, you know, um, you feel like this person is going to bring obstacles and challenges into your life if they come back. Because you, you definitely have dealt with a lot of deception, you know, with this person. Um, I'm feeling like for some of you, you know, this person, they went towards this karmic contract and they decided to try to bully you or try to verbally abuse you. For some of you, physically abuse you. Nine of Wands. King of Cups. And then we have the Strength card. So, um, whoever this is could be, you know, an air sign with water in their chart. Or be it a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Leo. Um, but I do feel like that, you know, with that being said, when it comes to whoever this King of Cups energy is, they do have an emotional attachment to you or you them. This is the one that broke your heart. This is the one that is in this karmic contract. This is the one that you're guarded, guarded from. This is the one that you feel like is going to create obstacles and challenges if they come back to you. And you've already, you know, been persistent with progressing in your life. And whoever this is, you possibly are burnt out with them. Even though you have an emotional, you know, connection with this person, you definitely feel burnt out. And so with that being said, whoever this uh, King of Cups is, I do feel like that, again, they went towards a karmic contract. And, you know, basically you were resilient. You had to bounce back. So whoever this is, they possibly caused you to have financial issues. They possibly caused you to, again, have bad mental health, possibly bad physical health. 
And so, and you, and you actually stayed, you know, with this person, you actually stayed emotionally connected to this person, even though they caused arguments, even though they deceived you, you know, and things of that nature. And I feel, I feel like that because you've, you know, cleared your mental and clear, cleared your energy of all the distractions. I do feel like that now you're going to be entering into another realm of inner strength. You know, I do feel like that you definitely are standing your ground to basically control what comes in and out of your energy. And I do feel like that you have gained a lot of confidence and courage and bravery, you know, when it comes to dealing with this person. And so whoever you are, uh, the, whoever this King of Cups is, they know, you know, that if they try to come towards you, you know, in this Five of Swords energy, you are going to stand your ground. Mm hmm. Yeah, because again, whoever this King of Cups is, you feel like that if they come back towards you, then, you know, they're going to cause you to be hungry, stinking and starving. Yeah. Because they chose to do make an irrational decision to get themselves stuck. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you definitely are. You definitely are standing your ground. Until this person wants to make a head over heart decision uh, to tell the truth to you. Possibly about some type of marriage or possibly, you know, just about uh, the lessons, you know, that this person is supposed to have been learning. Mm -hmm. Because whoever this is, you do deem them, you know, as childish, as immature. And whoever this is, you know that they're a charmer. You know, you know, whoever this is, they're very sly. And you feel like that they did show you unrequited love and possibly go and commit to someone else, um, possibly for money. Because I do feel like that this is who they're in a karmic contract with. And, and when it comes to you, I do feel like that this person uh, kept secrets from you. And for some of you, it is about, you know, black magic and spells with this magician here. But others of you, you know, they were just keeping secrets that they were playing games, you know, with your emotions. Mm -hmm. And so with that being said, yeah, you decided to go in hermit mode. You decided to, you know, focus on yourself. But I do feel like that while you were in hermit mode, you possibly, you know, received some type of information that, you know, whoever this King of Cups is, you know, was doing selfish things. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, at this point, you know, you're kind of indecisive, you know, about this masculine energy, because at the end of the day, you know, this this masculine energy, you know, definitely has options other than this uh, karmic contract that they're in because they're trying to build their their stability, but they're becoming, you know, it goes from building stability, you know, nothing serious to them being emotionally attached, you know. Uh, to these talk to these third party interferences. Mm -hmm. The devil, three of swords. Yeah, so for some of you, you know, they did. They they married, you know, this third party. For others of you, you know, whoever this is, um, you know, they definitely could be an air sign as well. And so when it comes to, you know, the clearing out of distractions in their life, I do feel like that this karmic contract was one of the biggest distractions that they had in their life. Yeah, the tower. And it's coming crashing down. Because whoever this is, they definitely broke your heart. But they also broke their own heart. And with the Hierophant here, they are learning lessons. They are learning lessons. And they are now understanding why you have your guard up. Mm -hmm. Because they know that you feel like they're going to come in and cause you a tower moment. Because this is how you are. Nine of Pentacles energy. Independent lady, independent man. And so, yeah, they do want to communicate because uh, they have reevaluated something. They have reevaluated something and they and they felt like that 
you know, they didn't get the rewards that they were promised in this marriage. And so with that being said, whoever this is, this King of Cups energy, they definitely want a new beginning in love with you. And they possibly are ending something, ending this karmic contract, or they're just going through a transformation. Because whoever this is, you know, they were a play they were a player. But now they want to create balance with you. Nine of Wands, King of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're they're very emotional. You know, um, I do feel like that whoever this is, you know, they know they took you through a lot and they are learning lessons about that. And so with that being said, whoever this is, they possibly are ready to be loyal and faithful to you. And so, yeah, they want to come towards you, you know, to possibly heal, um, you know, because you guys do have a spiritual connection. And so they do want to come towards you to possibly heal and possibly, you know, spiritually awaken and get on their spiritual journey. Mm hmm. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You possibly did wait for this person for a long time. You know, to spiritually awaken. Mm -hmm. Will of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. But things are definitely changing. Five of Swords and Strength. Five of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, whoever this is, you know, they do want to come towards you um, to possibly, you know, heal. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm in my office, so of course it's going to be distractions. Okay. Again. Where were we? So, yeah, whoever this is, you know, they do want to come towards you and possibly, you know, heal um, or he to help you heal because they know that they did. They caused a lot of chaos, havoc, and pandemonium in your life. And they know that you stood strong. You remained strong, you know, and then on top of that, you got stronger. You know, they want to come out of the Five of Cups energy. Whoever this is, you know, they do want your acceptance. You know, they, they possibly want a reunion with you because now they're seeing things, you know, um, in a different perspective when it comes to whoever this Queen of Pentacles is. The Hierophant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely learning, you know, a lesson about juggling. And I feel like that they're, they know, you know, that you are the one that they want to be with. And so that's one of the main lessons that they are learning is, you know, um, juggling. Because that is the main reason why you are guarded against this person is because they try to juggle you in a karmic or a third party, excuse me. Yeah. And it definitely was revealed to you. That's another reason why you're guarded. Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they want to come towards you because they do want success and victory with you. And then what I'm also getting to with this Five of Swords, you know, um, whoever this uh, third party is that they went towards, you know, they basically are being deceptive to them. They possibly are trying to bully them, possibly be abusive to them. And yeah, they're ready to surrender. Whoever this masculine energy is, this King of Cups, they're ready to surrender. They want to come towards the one that, you know, basically... Um, has self-control, you know, has the inner strength to keep moving, you know what I mean? Has the courage and the bravery to stand up. Whoever this is, you know, they, they do love you and they know exactly who you are. Five of Cups in the reverse. Yep. And they want things to change. They want things to change for the good. And you know why? Because they are ending, you know, this karmic contract. So let's keep going.
Spirit, put one on the devil and three of swords. Yeah. This definitely could be your 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 twin flame, your soulmate. The person that deems you to be real love. For some of you, you know, you could be traveling to France or you know, you're from France. Nine of Wands, King of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Day of the Dead. So yeah, whoever this masculine is, they know that you're their divine counterpart. And they definitely are ending a situation um, that basically you stayed with them while they were dealing with it. Five of Swords, Strength. Mm hmm yeah and because they are ending you know this situation this karmic contract whoever this third party is yeah whoever this third party is they're flipping, flipping the script on them they want war Vietnam they want war look at them third party with their back turned now they mad so yeah whoever this third party is they definitely have flipped the script on this. Well, they feel like the masculine has flipped the script on them. So now this third party has turned their back on this masculine. And they are. They're causing, you know, um, a lot of arguments. They are basically trying to bully, you know, this masculine. Trying to make this masculine to surrender to them. So, you know, whoever this third party is, they are. They're trying to strong arm this masculine. And so, yeah, this masculine, they're, they're learning the lesson about juggling, you know. They're, they're just learning lessons about juggling, period. That's not the only lesson that they're learning, but when it, when it comes to you, the biggest lesson that they're learning is, you know, when God gives you something, you take it and you be thankful and humble. You know, don't look at it like you better than God because then you're going to have to bow down. The Hierophant, Two of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're learning a lesson about, you know, juggling. And so yeah, the third party is definitely going. The third party is is being asked to exit the premises. Yep, because whoever this masculine energy is, they want to come back and reconcile with you. They want success and victory with you. Six of swords, six of wands. Yeah. And so whoever this masculine is, you know, um, basically they know by the truth, you know, it, when if this masculine speaks the truth, then there will be peace. But there will be peace only with the truth and only under God. So whoever this is, you know, they know that they have to speak the truth and they know that they have to spiritually awaken and get on their spiritual journey in order for you to accept them and in order for things to change for the for the better. Five of Cups in the reverse, Will of Fortune. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, whoever this masculine is, now they're ready to trust in God. Now they're ready to trust in God. Now they're ready to spiritually awaken and get on their spiritual journey so that things can change for the better. Uh, for some of you, you know, you could be traveling to France, Mexico, Vietnam, Philippines, Massachusetts, Florida, or you all could be from those places. Spirit, um, clarify the devil. Hold on just a sec, y'all. We're going to get through this message one way or the other. Spirit, clarify the devil, please. Well, the devil and three of swords. Yeah, what's done in the dark will come to the light. So, um, I do feel like that, again, you already knew that this was a distraction. You know, this was something that you needed to clear out of your life. And I feel like that that's what you have done. But because it's Mercury, Mercury retrograde is coming up. Today is the 20th. So, starting sometime tomorrow, um, whoever this King of Cups energy is, they're possibly going to try to come back around. But what's done in the dark comes to light. So you already know because you are of the light. So you already know that this masculine is attached, you know, to a karmic contract. 
and basically they broke your heart but they are dealing with a broken heart because they're unhappy where they're at and you are their divine counterpart and they see that you're living a good life for some of you they see that you're just traveling the world you know you could be traveling the world teaching kids you could be traveling the world um you know for your job you whatever you're doing this person is seeing you you know living a good life uh divine counterpart twin flame Just one, please. There we go. Unbothered and happy. So, yeah, you're unbothered and happy. Even though, you know, everything has taken place, you're unbothered and happy because, again, you are persistent and you are resilient. And you, you stuck in there, you know, you, you did the work on your spiritual journey. And so, yeah, you're living a good life. You're unbothered and happy. Well, this masculine energy, they're bothered and stressed because you're guarded. Nine of Wands and King of Cups. You're guarding, you're guarded, and they feel like that you're blocking them, blocking your emotions out for them. Yeah, but you're guarded because you know that this person's life is a circus, this masculine energy. And whoever this is, yeah, they definitely are, you know, emotional about you, but they're also emotional because their life is a circus right now. And, you know, with this masculine, you know, they definitely could have gotten some type of information about the third party as well. Possibly, you know, maybe having a, uh, kids that they don't know about or possibly having other, you know, masculine energies that they were dealing with. But anyways, they possibly could have gotten some information. And so with that being said, that's where all the arguments and stuff is taking place with this third party. Because whatever information that they received about this third party, now they're ready to end it with this third party. Mm -hmm. I can't make it up. Third party interference at the bottom of the deck. Day of the Dead. For some of you, you know, this, uh, somebody could have found out that somebody likes the same sex as well. Mm hmm. Yeah. But. Whoever this masculine energy is, they are. They are ending it with a third party. They are ending a karmic contract. Five, 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 a change is coming. And so with that being said, you know, while you're, you know, in this unbothered energy, while you're living your life, there, there is a change that is coming. And I do feel like that um, you are going to get some information about it. And I do feel like that whoever this third party is, they can feel that this masculine is getting ready to walk away from them. And so they are. They're causing, you know, a lot of um, arguments. They're, they're, they're doing a lot of things behind the scenes to this masculine to try to basically control this masculine. Because they do feel like that this masculine is flipping the script on them. And for some of you, you know, this masculine is in a mental jail or whoever this third party is. Five of Swords and Strength. Mm-hmm. Yep. Bad mental health. So, yeah. Whoever this third party is, yeah, they definitely are, you know, dealing with bad mental health because they know that this masculine is emotionally attached to you. They know that this masculine loves you. And so, they're dealing with bad mental health. And it is because of everything they went through with this masculine as well. Because whoever this third party is, don't get it twisted. They're broken hearted too. They're humans too. Not trying to take up for them because I don't, you know, I don't do that. But, you know, they are heartbroken too. But they decided to, you know, play the back and forth game with this masculine. Um, in this, you know, toxic situation shit. And so because this third party feels like that the masculine is flipping the script on them, you know, they are. They're going they're they're trying to, you know, punish and pay back or they're or they're planning and plotting to punish and pay back this masculine. And I do feel like that because you have your guard up and because this masculine's life is a circus, they are very emotional and they are going through bad mental health. And so they're going through bad mental health because they miss you and they want to be with you and they know they messed up. But then they're also dealing with bad mental health because this third party is doing things behind the scenes to basically try to control and strong arm this masculine. Flipping the script. Mm -hmm. Bad physical health. So for some of you, um, 
uh, this masculine, you know, could have gotten some information that uh, this third party possibly was trying to, you know, cause some bad physical health to you. That could have been the information. But a change is getting ready to come, though. If this uh, uh, and and the the script is getting ready to be flipped on this third party, if they think they're getting ready to cause some bad physical health, because I feel like that at this point, this mask can possibly could be standing in front of you. I, mean, I said standing in front of you. Wow. So maybe for some of you, this mask is going to stand in front of you if this third party tries to come towards you. They're going to basically block this third party from trying to cause some bad physical health to you. But what I was trying to say was exactly what the cards say. The masculine is seeing things clearly because they're they're basically learning the lesson. The lesson that they chose to, you know, juggle you and this third party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they gotta let it go. The higher fit two of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Playing the bank blame game. So, um, this, this King of Cups energy, they are, you know, you know, going through lessons about juggling and about, you know, um, basically doing toxic things, getting themselves involved in toxic situations with toxic people. And because this third party knows that, um, this masculine, you know, is leaving them. Again, they feel like this masculine is flipping the script on them, so they're trying to flip the script on the masculine. And for some of you, again, they try to trying to bully this masculine, and in turn, possibly trying to bully you, because they're playing the blame game. They're playing the blame game. But at the same time, that this third party wants to play the blame game with this masculine, this masculine is learning a lesson about juggling. And so, yeah, they they know that. Um, it's time to release this, 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 whoever this is, because it's not a time for the blame game. They both were deceitful towards one another. They both were doing toxic things. They were both operating in the devil energy. So there, there, there is no blame game. They both were, you know, they both were responsible for the parts that they played. And so with that being said, yes, this masculine is ending it with this third party, but spirit wants you to trust your intuition because um, this masculine, they do want to come back towards you to possibly reconcile because they see that you are getting success and victory. But whoever this is, they know that they have to tell the truth in order for there to be peace. But in order for there to be peace, they have to tell the truth and they have to do it under God, pretty much. They, so with that being said, whoever this is, this masculine, they have to surrender to God. Period. There's no way around it. By the sword, we seek peace. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they have to speak the truth about this the, the third party interference. Yep. Yeah. And for some of you, they do. That's why they want to come towards you because they know they have to tell you the truth in order to have success and victory with you. Um, they just want your acceptance. You know, they, they do want to have a reunion with you. They want things to change for the better. And when it comes to this third party interference, yeah, they are. They're going to speak some truth. And they're going to let you know that basically they were codependent on this third party for money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they are ending it. They are ending it to come back towards you, air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't make it up. They definitely want to speak some truth. Because they do, they do want a new beginning with you. Five of Cups in the reverse, Will of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are hiding secrets. Well, you know, the fact of the matter is, you know, Spirit is saying trust your intuition because they do want to come back towards you to reconcile. They do want to speak some truth um, as far as these third party interferences, as far as them being codependent on this third party for money. And also that they were hiding secrets and they, you know, they want to come out of, you know, feeling like you don't love them and like, you know, it's a done deal because they know that they were hiding secrets and you know that they are hiding secrets. So, again, trust your intuition because of whoever this is. You know, they do want to a reunion with you. They do want things to change with you. And they are trusting in God. You know, that God will basically bring it back together. 
But for some of you, this person feels like that you're hiding secrets because you're closed off and they don't know why. Mm -hmm. Water sign, can't make it up. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. In God we trust. Fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And so, you know, this person could have fire in their chart. Or this fire sign, you know, just uh, is saying that, you know, basically they're taking action to basically surrender to God, to trust in God. Yeah, yeah. Because everything is backfiring. The tables are turning now. Mm -hmm. And for some of you, whoever this masculine is, they could be in physical jail or prison. Or this third party is about to go. But I feel like that for some of you, this person is locked up. And they are watching you. All eyes are on you. And you know what they're watching? They watch. They get to watch you checkmate them. Because they see that you're winning. Mm -hmm. So you won. You won. And they definitely have. They definitely are weighed down. They're definitely feeling like that they are wearing chains. What's done in the dark comes to light and unbothered and unhappy. Just one, please, spirit. Yeah, I'm also getting too that this masculine is in spiritual jail as well for juggling you, their divine counterpart, their twin. That's what I'm also getting as well. I said that already. Somebody's in spiritual jail. Yeah. Yeah, when it what's done in the dark comes to the light when it comes to some type of family member. So there was a family member involved. I don't know if that is the karmic contract that they're in. I feel like that. It's not the family member, but there is a family member involved um, in the situation. And so you're going to find out who this family member is. Woo-wee. Investigation going on. So for some of you, there definitely is some type of investigation going on. Dealing with the family member. And you're definitely on your spiritual journey. And whoever this third party is, is trying to interfere with, with you and your spiritual journey. They're trying to cause you to be hungry, stinking, and starving. Because they're jealous and envious of you. Mm -hmm. And for some of you, they are married. <coughs> Life is a circus. Five, five, five. A change is coming. Life is a circus because for some of you, you know, whoever this masculine energy is, they're basically waiting. They're basically causing themselves to be stuck this they're not necessarily stuck um they're causing themselves to be stuck because i feel like that something happened in the dark and and it became illuminated whatever they were doing you know while they were in this karmic contract they definitely did something so something could have happened to a family member both of these parties were involved that's why they're playing the blame game and it did it caused a lot of heart ache and pain you know to them to you to family members and everything something definitely happened to a family member and i feel like that somebody was supposed to get some type of money from a legal situation so whoever's family member this was they possibly you know had insurance policy on them or you know um they could have sued you know the police department or something like that but somebody's family something happened to somebody's family member and somebody was expecting some money from a legal situation and i'm feeling like it's a third party and so with that being said this masculine was staying emotionally attached materials materialistically attached to this third party because this third party was getting money from a legal situation and i do feel like that that changed that changed i feel like that this third party didn't get any money or they got the money or they promised this master they were going to give them some money from a legal situation and they got the money and didn't give it to them either way it goes there is a change that is coming mm-hmm Bad mental health, bad physical health. Mm -hmm. Lonely and scared. And so 
this masculine definitely is on lonely and scared. Um, and at the end of the day, I do feel like that this third party, you know, is lonely and scared because for some of you, this third party, you know, feels like that this, that this masculine is going to try to cause them some bad physical health. But I feel like the this third party definitely wants to cause you some bad physical health. Yep. And whoever this is, they are locked up. They're lonely and scared in jail. It came out again. Playing the blame game. About an investigation. About an investigation. And I feel like that this third party got this masculine involved in another investigation. I feel like that this is an isolated event. And I feel like that there is another situation that this third party has possibly gotten this masculine involved in. And it's because they know that this masculine, you know, possibly committed some type of crime against a family member. And because they know that the masculine is leaving them, they're one to flip the script. Because whoever this masculine is, I do feel like that they did cause some type of bad physical health to a family member. And I feel like with the playing the blame game, they're trying to blame each other. Like, well, you made me do it. No, you did it. Anybody tell you to do it? You, you grown. Well, you told me to do it. You know, playing this back and forth game. Because there is an investigation going on. Mm-hmm. All of this going on while this masculine was juggling you and this third party. But this third party, you know, they know some secrets about this masculine. And so because this masculine is leaving them, because there is getting ready to be a change, um, this third party, yeah, they flipped the script on this masculine. And basically they told some stuff in the courthouse. And so, yeah, there's investigation going on because the masculine is ending it, you know, with this third party. And so Spirit is saying, trust your intuition because this masculine does want to come back towards you to possibly reconcile. But they're going to have to speak some truth. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But trust your intuition because this masculine, they are. They're going through karma and they are under judgment because of this investigation. And so with that being said, they want to speak some truth because they possibly are still hiding some secrets. So you possibly don't know about this other legal situation that they have going on. They are hiding secrets and fire sign. Yep. They are hiding secrets from you. So this definitely is your twin flame. Your divine counterpart. Twin flame. Yeah, but you've already healed. You've already healed. And so with that being because you trust in God. You're, you're an earth angel. You're a spiritual being. So you're already healed. Um, whoever this is, because everything is going on, they needing to heal. And I feel like that they are getting ready to take action to trust in God to heal. Because guess what? They're trusting in God for this divorce. Mm -hmm. But they are trying to get a divorce. But I feel like that this third party, yeah, they flipped the script on this masculine. And, you know, they are blackmailing this masculine to keep them stuck. Mm-hmm. Because whoever this is, I do feel like the masculine and the third party possibly both are in mental jail. Um, because they are having money issues. And for some of you, the third party is committing identity theft. And so, with that being said, this masculine possibly is seeing things clearly. I feel like that you possibly have been getting signs and symbols, you know, that there was something going on. And so this could be the new investigation going on. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Playing the blame game and investigation going on. Yep, because the, because the masculine is ending it. That's what that's what this third party is doing. Basically trying to, you know, pay back and punish the masculine for ending it with them. 
Trust your intuition. Going through karma under judgment. Yep. Challenging your intuition. So trust your intuition because whoever this masculine is, yeah, they, they in the past, they were challenging your intuition. And that's another thing, you know, that they were going, uh, that's another reason why they're going through karma and under judgment. Because whoever this is, you knew that they had a hidden agenda. You knew that they were over there with the karmic third party, you know, for money, we'll do yada yada. You knew that they had a hidden, a hidden agenda. And you possibly spoke some truth about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so now at this point, you don't even know if you really want to be, if you want to, I mean, you love this person, but you don't know if you want to, you know, continue to have that type of love anymore with this indecisive love. Mm -hmm. Because whoever this masculine is, they choose chose to go towards a third party to, you know, have friends with benefits. So they were unloyal and unfaithful to you. And yeah, you felt like they were playing on your emotions by going towards a toxic energy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, small thing to a giant. You definitely overcame it. You definitely healed. And I feel like, you know, for some of you, you know, this masculine, you know, they were falsely accused of a crime. And I, with this small thing to a giant, I do feel like that they basically are overcoming that as well. And so they could want to communicate with you, but you're closed off and they want to know why. They know why. They know why because they stayed emotionally attached you know, to a situation ship and only was dealing with chaos having and pandemonium. Now they want to walk away. Because at the end of the day, whoever this is, they they are a good person. They their actions were just fake. And they were stuck in the past with a troublemaking drama queen. That definitely is lying on your good name. All right, Aquarius, let's clear this canvas so we can get um, some angel messages to see, you know, what you need to do moving forward. Again, you know, the Mercury retrograde is in Taurus. So whoever this is, they definitely are stubborn or they definitely were stubborn. Um, and at the end of the day, they're learning a, uh, they're learning some some tough lessons right now. So let me get these Earth Angel cards out. Y'all bear with me for a second. Just a second. Yeah. So, spirit. When it comes to um, Aquarius's ex person, um, I know you said trust your intuition, but what is the final answer that you want the Aquarius to know about this situation? Meditation brings answers. So for some of you, you know, um, you definitely need to meditate in order to get the answer. But then others of you, um, you possibly are going to get the answer while in meditation. For some of you, Spirit says go ahead and take action. And remain positive while doing so. Because there is a peaceful, peaceful resolution. So, with that being said, you know, everybody has free will, so it is what it is. So, you guys, you know, make your decision based off of, you know, the answers that you get in your meditation. Because for some of you, you know, you are going to get the answer to take action. But the fact of the matter is, regardless of whether you are going to, you know, let them come back or not, 
you just need to remain positive because there is a peaceful resolution. Um, you know, regardless, like I said, of whether you are going to allow them to come back or not. Um, you know, there is a peaceful resolution. Remain positive. You know, take action, pretty much. So with that being said, Aquarius, that has been your message. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.